to run race two at Flemington Gates are back and Black Caviar jumped away well and so did Quasa Quasa and White Pegasus out wider. Bensky must have been a bit slow and is uh, all galloping uh, very awkwardly in the early part half wanting to buck and it's dropped out to last and coming down to the 800 metres Miss Papier had crossed over and had the lead now she's in front of Black Caviar who's away quickly into second spot and right behind them Quasa Quasa on the outside followed by Take the Wrap and just behind those was far too fast against the rail deeper was Amathon being trailed further back then by White Pegasus running about a bit and then the stable mates together Kaskura on the outside of Karuba Common Edge closer fair way back Rock Aloft is a distant second last and a very long last as Bensky Black Caviar took over the running before the 300 from Kwasa Kwasa, Amathon running on and then Take the Wrap and further back in the field then was Kaskura but uh, Black Caviar is opening right up and living up to the very good trial, she's sprinting away for Jared Noski and in the run home Black Caviar won it by four to Kwasa Kwasa take the wrapper neck away third Amathon ran fourth and just behind those was Kaskura followed by Comedage close far too fast and then came Karuba <laughs> racing in the blue sapphire gee Black Caviar didn't jump all that well she seemed to skew off a little bit at the start quiet to Carrara away quickly from take the wrap and point pain Black Caviar eased into clear galloping room out deeper on the course and is going up near to the pace they're followed then by Demerit and Connemara Bay getting up on the inside. Point Pain after showing pace has drifted back a little bit and they were followed by Radon and then came Black Gold back at the end with Leritier. Well Black Caviar scooted around the field and took over the running by two links to Quietzer. Carrara next on the inside, 600 to go from Take the Wrap and Demerit. Two links to Connemara Bay being followed by Point Pain. Then Leritier starting to make a little ground from Radon and Black Gold. Black Caviar under a hole led by a link to the half. Quiet and Nicolette staying second. Carrara the rail from Demerit and then take the wrap and a break to Point Payne. But she looked to be cruising in the early part of the straight Black Caviar. She's three lengths in front and did it very, very comfortably. Shaken up now by Noski, she put four lengths on them. Uh, Demerit's running on OK, followed uh, on the rails by Carrara, but she's just as impressive here at Caulfield. Black Caviar under a hole, won it by five lengths. Demerit second, a half head to Carrara, and then take the wrap, followed by Point Payne and Quietzer. Leritier just picked up a few of the tail then does Connemara Bay. Black gold towards the end was second last and right on. Three-year-old fillies. Yates are back and they're away. Black Caviar was probably the worst out. And Noesis jumped brilliantly. Now Black Caviar moved up within a length of the front runner. And in behind them, third on the inside is Miraculous Miss. And then Absolute Faith, who settled down second last and three lengths away, or a little less than that, is Orbiting Bill. So Noesis has the lead. Black Caviar recovers after that slightly awkward beginning and she sits three quarters of a length away behind Noesis who has the mouth wide open wanting to over race a length and a half away then on the inside Miraculous Miss, Absolute Faith her outside and nearly a length orbiting Bell. By the school about uh, five lengths covering the field at the most 550 metres to go, Noesis by about a head only now to Black Caviar and Absolute Faith has moved up trying to make a line of three, Miraculous Miss in behind them with orbiting Bell three lengths cover them only now and it's Noesis joined by Black Caviar and Nolan sitting pretty quietly on the hot favourite as she takes over the running. Miraculous Miss getting up on the inside into third placing, but Black Caviar opened up three lengths around the turn from Noesis. Miraculous Miss running on fairly well, but Black Caviar is all class, and she coached down to keep the perfect record by about four lengths on the line. Uh, Miraculous Miss just second ahead of Orbiting Bell, and uh, just behind those, Absolute Faith and Noesis weakened out and she would be probably last time on the inside. Set. Racing now. Oh, Black Caviar really knuckled. She began terribly down in gate number two today. Let's see if she recovers quickly enough. Rarified was away well with Corsair. Also jumping OK was Point Pain on the inside. Black Caviar is going to settle right on the speed between the two leaders. Now she's rolling to a slender lead. Black Caviar, Corsair on her outside and Point Pain in on the rails. They're the three leaders. Grand Harmony is staying out of troubles, way out a little wider in about fourth placing. Just in behind them is Wanted as they come towards the 600 metre mark. And they were being followed, Taldus Bree buried away on the rail, rarefied between horses, and further back as Extra Zero and Delago Bolt at the tail of the field. Black Caviar joins the course proper narrowly in front of Corsair. They're being followed, Grand Harmony, who's ridden along, wanted just behind the leader, Point Pain on the rail, rarefied working into the clear. Extra Zero was next, Black Caviar at the 200, led by a length and a half, wanted and Corsair, and then rarefied out wider, and further back as Taldus Bree starting to hit the line, Black Caviar in front, 
wanted coming off her back. Black Caviar three quarters in front. Black Caviar, she wins again. Black Caviar has won it from wanted. Uh, might be rarefied third. Delago Bolt got home and Tell Spree finished his race off okay. Corsair weakened, then extra zero. Point Pain back towards the tail of the field and Grand Harmony has weakened and is last yeah. set. Yeah. Racing at the 1200 metres, a beautiful start. Here the Angels, the first to show. Black Caviar goes with him, and as expected, they settle down 1-2. Two. two lengths away in third placing, then is La Rocket on the inside of Ferocia, and on their outside, almost a length away is Royal Ada. As they go around the first turn at the 800, here the Angels has the leader. Half a length, Black Caviar. Sits at his girth on the outside, a length and a half, La Rocket. Then a neck for Asia, and Royal Ida out three wide as the field comes up the side. 6.50 metres left to go now. Here the Angels at a steady tempo, led by a half, Black Caviar. Capped on his outside. Royal Ida three deep the trip. La Rocket's on the fence. Ferocia is last. Here the Angels has it by a half. Black Caviar. Neither riders asked for the big run yet. La Rocket in behind them. Royal Ida niggled fourth. Last Ferocia. Now Black Caviar's let go by Nolan. And she quickly raced up to here the Angels. Got almost a length in front of him. Sprinted away around the home turn. Then came La Rocket and Royal Ida. But it's Black Caviar by two lengths. Here the Angels can't answer this super filly who races away to make it five out of five, what a star. Black Caviar, two and a half, here the Angels. La Rocca to Lincoln, three quarters third. Royal Ida ran four. Ferocia last in. Ready, racing. Black Caviar away very well. Winter King out brilliantly. And also Mick Mac is showing good pace in the early speed part of the speed battle. They go past the 800 metres now. And it's Winter King narrowly. Black Caviar can kick through. She retains the rails, can nearly go through and uh, join the leader. Uh, they're followed then by wide out Tully Dreamer on the move and he really pours the pressure into the race here out wide going to the front. Mick Mac is up there fourth and first command fifth out wider. Star Witness well back on the rail when they cornered and then good control and general truce. Black Caviar boots up on the inside, goes to the lead. As they corner, she slips away under a hold early. Black Caviar opened up three lengths on Wendy King. Tully Dreamer was gone. First command Mick Mac running on General Truce down the outside, but it is Black Caviar well clear with 100 metres to go. Three or four on Winter King and Black Caviar back as brilliant as she left. Won it by two, eased up. Winter King second, General Truce two and a half third. Star Witness got home nicely. A break in the field then to Mick Mac. Uh, followed in then by Good Control. Back there with him was First Command and Tully Dreamer. <laughs> Racing. Perfect start. Black Caviar not brilliantly away. She needs to muster because there's pressure right on here. Troopers weighs in away very fast, looking for the lead from his outside barrier. He crossed over, he had it, and settling down two lengths away. Black Caviar second, hot Danish immediately. Her inside a half length away. Now he switches to the outside as they go to the first turn there, Nolan. And Troopers weighs in has a half length lead on the hot favourite. Hot Danish is running third, the inside. Melito fourth, and she has the back of Black Caviar. Then a Length away, Eagle falls and stands out last of the half dozen. Trooper sways in at the 600 metres, tries to steady up after using a lot of gas to find the lead. Now moving up just about level on the outside is the hot favourite, Black Caviar. Melito's got the third and pockets hot Danish. Stands out, whipped around the outside, trying to get himself in with a show. Eagle falls left behind, but Black Caviar took Trooper sways in and dashed for the lead. Going for seven straight and the favourite went away by three lengths now. They're not making him Impression on her. Black Caviar well away from Trooper Swayzen. Hot Danish is boxing on well, but it is all Black Caviar. Seven straight. She's canted home by five lengths. Hot Danish second. Trooper Swayzen third. Again, he doesn't miss a place at the valley. Just behind them, Melito battled away late with Eagle Falls warming up. Stands out, dropped out to run last. Well, what a star she is. We look forward to Flemington in the clash there with a high list, and you can savour what might. Racing. Black Caviar jumps pretty well near the outside. Hayless seemed to jump out OK. Melito, one of the first to show in the early stages, but it's Eagle Falls up the middle of the track who has the lead. Black Caviar's out deep in second placing. Hayless just off them with Melito. 
Star Witness stalking Black Caviar or Tensia second last. All sign at last of all. So they go past the 800 metres and it's now Black Caviar out wide. Eagle Falls close to the middle. Hay list between them. So the two favourites are right up there. Melito tracking them. Star Witness still right behind Black Caviar followed by Hortensia and All Silent. Coming down to the 400 metre mark now and Black Caviar the narrow leader. Schofield getting a little busy on Hay list. Star Witness peels over the heels of the mare. He's a big danger. Melito's putting in a run. Black Caviar still the leader. Malum hasn't really moved on her. She's two in front. Star Witness second. Hay list can't go on. Hortensia runs on. Black Caviar though holds Star Witness at bay. She's unbeaten at eight of eight. What a champion she is. Black Caviar beats Star Witness by three and a half lengths. Hortensia third all silent four. Back behind them is Melito. Hay list, well he's a lot better than that folks. So he really weakened out of it. He's second last and Eagle Falls last home. Great to watch. Great to see a champion in full flight. That's what we've seen. She's never been beaten. Eight for eight. And she's lifted Ben Mellum onto the main stage with an authority. They're, ready. They're off and racing. And Black Caviar jumped away very nicely. So too True Persuasion. Hayless got away all right. King Pulse eased in behind them. Leapfrog jumped away all right and is showing some speed and Warm Love's gone through and settling fully, Warm Love has it narrowly with Black Caviar, Leapfrog and the bright pink close to the inside trailed by Crystal Lily Grandules Haylist is right on the outside of Black Caviar, there's probably only three quarters between these two and then True Persuasion and King Pulse and Tollesbury bring up the rear, 400 left to go now, Black Caviar, she's gone to the lead, Haylist only three quarters away staying on with her, they've beaten off Warm Love and then True Persuasion but Black Caviar at the 200 metres. The crowd starts to applaud already. She's gone three lengths in front. Haylist can't go on. A good battle for third. But this is why she's rated the best in the world. Have a good look at this. Black Caviar is going to be eased down to a canter. Scored by four to Haylist. Warm Love stayed on for third. Crystal Lily and Grand Duels. Trail by True Persuasion. King Pulse, Leapfrog and Tola Spree. They're set. Racing in the new market, Black Caviar gets a nice getaway. So did Beaded and King Pulse. Crystal Lily jumped well near the inside. Response Grand Duels just off the early pacemakers. Eagle Falls went out towards the rear and Chasm as well back and Hinchinbrook's about the middle of the pack. Crystal Lily up the middle of the course has the lead in the early stages. She's a couple clear, Black Caviar in clear. Galloping Room is behind her with Grand Duels on the outside. King Pulse not far away, close to the inside in company with Star Witness. Behind them, Hinchinbrook. Uh, they're being followed then closely by Beat It. Snaparazzi well back, trail by response. At the end is Eagle Falls and Chasm. Black Caviar with a share of the lead coming to the 400. Crystal Lily on her inside, followed by King Pulse. Then came Beat It and Star Witness at the 300 metres now. And Black Caviar is coasting. Kicks away, two to three lengths on Crystal Lily. King Pulse beaded is coming home. Black Caviar away by four lengths with 150 metres to go. This is unprecedented, ten straight. Black Caviar by four, Crystal Lily and beaded. But she is unparalleled. Black Caviar, perfect. Three lengths, Crystal Lily. Beaded as third. And then response in Hinchinbrook. King Pulse, star witness didn't come on. Nor did Eagle Falls. Towards the end is Chasm. Lights flash. <laughs> Racing, uh, Black Caviar out fairly, Crystal Lily away brilliantly, finding the lead in the early part. Moving to second, True Persuasion from Black Caviar on the outside of Das Marken, and then Master Harry and two lengths away, Hinchinbrook and Perturbo. Black Caviar sitting back about fourth, five lengths off the leader at the first turn, and she's out wide. Crystal Lily has the lead, 800 left to go. A length True Persuasion. Black Caviar now moving up a little closer on the outside. Daz Mark in the fence, then Master Harry, and he's being followed. Hinchinbrook second, last, and Perturbo. It is Crystal Lily at the 600 metres. True Persuasion on the outside, three quarters now to Black Caviar. She's right there within striking range. Nolan's pushing and urging her along at this point, and she's now gone up and she's taken over the running. So the Black Flash, Black Caviar, kicks away a length and a half in front from Crystal Lily, True Persuasion, a long break, Hinchin Brook, but Black Caviar away now by three lengths. Crystal Lily stays on strongly, but she is unbeaten and still the indisputed champion of the world. Black Caviar by two lengths eased up. 
Fris Crystal Lily second, Hinchinbrook third, then Paterbo True Persuasion, Das Marken and Master Harry. And they're set, they're off and racing. Black Caviar jumped a touch awkwardly. She's about third or fourth settling down. Hayless went up on the outside and hit the front. And led from Crystal Lily. Black Caviar going through in the centre. Shell Scrape on the outside. They're about three lengths in Alberta. Hinch and Rook followed further back by Response and Shootout and Demerit. And then Triple Honour and back last of all, all silent. It's Hayless in front at the 800. He went over onto the rail and led by a length and a half. In second spot is Crystal Lily. Black Caviar running third. And Shell Scrape scrape on the outside of it, Hinchinbrook back fifth on the rail, then Alberta in the centre followed by shootout, triple honour, responses and travelling all that well, demerit over on the fence and last of all as they make the turn is all silent, running for home and Hayless the leader, he's about two or three lengths in front of Krista Lilly, Black Caviar has pulled to the centre of the track but he's giving Hayless or she's giving Hayless about four or five and then came Hinchinbrook it's Hayless in front, Black Caviar she's starting to knuckle down to the task now, here she comes Black Caviar, she raced up and hit the lead and the Black Caviar the best in the world, races away and wins it by about three lengths to the roar of the crowd, Hayless got second possibly Alberta third from Triple Honour and Henshambrook and then came uh, Response, followed by Crystal Lily and then came uh, All Silent Shootout, followed by Demerit and last in was Shell is in. The lights are on again Stand by for a start and they're off and racing now. Black Caviar missed it by the usual neck. And Hayless pinged out of the gates and found the lead. Buffering quickly got outside him. And Black Caviar straight to the box seat. Two lengths behind them. Then no evidence needed. Followed by Melito, Albert the Fat, Black Piranha. And Sniper's Bullet last of all. Hayless the leader around the first corner. 900 metres to go. A half to Buffering on the outside. And two lengths away, Black Caviar. A length and a half then to no evidence needed. Albert the Fat's on the fence. And they're followed by Melito, Sniper's Bullet and Black Piranha. They're going to the 600. Of metres and Hayliss and buffering lead. Nolan not taking any chances. He peels out three deep on Black Caviar. Two lengths away, Albert the Fat, Melito, no evidence needed. Black Piranha, Sniper's Bullet. They're coming around the bend and Hayliss the leader from buffering. Black Caviar, she made the corner awkwardly, but Nolan said, Let's go and coming to the 300. Black Caviar sprinted up on the outside of Hayliss and they're followed by buffering, but Black Caviar is the leader. She got away from Hayliss with 100 metres left to go. Start number 13, unlucky for some, not for this one. Black Caviar raced away and beat Haylist. A mile back third is a three-way photo. There's nothing between them. Uh, no evidence is needed in the photo. So too is Black Piranha and Buffering. The next is Melito, followed then by Albert the Fat. And last time is Sniper's Bullet. And the pressure is off all and sundry. Well, oh, she scrambled around the corner. She didn't get around it at all. And look at Haylist. H have a look at Haylist. He's beaten the rest of them by an absolute furlong and she's toweled him again. Unbelievable. This is it. Away they go. And Black Caviar jumped as well as she usually does. Karuta Queen was away very fast and Platinum Sky drives up and they go together leading a length and a half, Morgan Dollar. And Black Caviar settled a length away in fourth within three and a half of the leader. Sterling Grove on the inside and they're followed then by Tassos. Cool Grinders trying to get onto her stable mate. And Rara Kane last the inside. Karuta Queen nears the 500 by a length and a half. Black Caviar's moving into second on the outside of Platinum Sky. Then Cool Grinder, Morgan Dollar. Two lengths further back is Sterling Grove, Tassos. Rara Kane is last. And Black Caviar's moved to the lead coming around the home turn ahead of Karuta Queen. Cool Grinders trying to run on down the outside and then Morgan Dollar and Platinum Sky down on the inside. But it is all about Black Caviar. She went past the 200, lengthening by four lengths. Away she goes. What a champion. 14 straight and she's up there with the greatest ever. Black Caviar won it by four and a half. Second Karuta Queen, Sterling Grove third. And then came Platinum Sky and Morgan Dollar. Cool Grinder couldn't go on. Rara Kane Tassos at the end. Isn't it just wonderful to watch? Whips. Away they go. And Black Caviar jumps away okay. She's up second early with her stable mate showing the way. Doubtful Jack lands a length and a half. Black Caviar second, two lengths away. Scenic Blast. Hitty Angels jump pretty well for him, and he's about a neck away, and he's running last of the four. So they make their way towards the first turn, and out in front is Doubtful Jack. He shows the way by two lengths. 
Black Caviar idling along in second. Scenic Blast is a length and a half away. And here the Angels are neck further back, last of the four. So the Swepsfield comes down the side. Doubtful Jack, the leader. About a length in front of Black Caviar. A length and a half Scenic Blast on the inside. And here the Angels staying in touch with them as they go by the school. Doubtful Jack, the leader. Nolan just uh, slips the uh, Great Mare a little bit more leather and she gets up within a neck of the leader. Here the Angels cheekily got up a length and a half third and Scenic Blast is last, but she takes over the running now. Black Caviar and kicks away. This is the great exhilaration we come to see. Into the straight she goes and if you've come to see the greatest here she is. Black Caviar opening up by about five or six lengths 15 straight. She just keeps trotting them out and she probably hasn't had many easier than that. Black Caviar won it by about five on the line. To Doubtful Jack here the Angels and Scenic Blast stayed in. They're racing. Black Caviar gets a pretty good getaway. Also, we're beginning OK, buffering in the blue silks, and she's uh, going to let him go in the early part, Caviar, and she sits up the middle of the track in second placing, being followed closely by Response, Katana, and getting well back then is Scenic Blast over near the inside, and Penapeak and Midsummer Music towards the end. Uh, 800 left to go, and it's buffering the leader, Black Caviar, sitting well away from the rails, Look to be idling along in second placing. Tracked up then by Katana. Response in the red cap over on the outside. And then Scenic Blast. Midsummer Music and Panapeak is at the end of the field. So it's buffering only narrowly. Black Caviar at the 400 metres. Actually might have taken over the running here. Black Caviar in front now from buffering Katana. Scenic Blast. Response Midsummer Music. They pass the 300 metres. And Luke Nolan hasn't released the brakes on the Great Mare. Out she goes. She's three lengths in front now. The Wonder Mare. Black Caviar now by three opening right up on buffering and Curtana, but the mighty champion is going to make it 16 straight we've never seen the like of it before black caviar won it by three buffering stayed on for second midsummer music Curtana, scenic blast response and penna peak they're off and Black Caviar jumps evenly down on the inside. Zeddy Knight tries to go with her in the early part. And indeed, Luke Nolan said, you can have the lead. I'll sit back third. And it's Zeddy Knight leading about a half in front. Doubtful Jack second. Two lengths away then is Black Caviar. One further back is Sound Journey, Rock Classic and Hollow Lee about a half a length away last. So Zeddy Knight ran the first turn at the 800, three quarters clear. In second placing, Doubtful Jack. And then two and a half lengths away, Black Caviar. She stays away from the rail. A length and a half in front of Sound Journey, Rock Classic and Hollow Lee. Zeddy Knight at the 600, a half in front. On the outside, Doubtful Jack. A length and a half away then is the Great Mare, Black Caviar. She's just idling along. Two lengths from the leaders and then two lengths further back is Hollow Lee. Sound Journey, Rock Classic on the rail. Here comes the champion, and she's raced up and gone to the lead around the home turn now. Black Caviar put paid to Zeddy Knight, and then Doubtful Jack, but the crowd roaring for one of the greats of the world. Into the straight she comes, Black Caviar, opening up by three lengths. Zeddy Knight boxing on well, but here she is, 17 straight, the invincible one. Black Caviar won it by three. Zeddy Knight second, four lengths, Doubtful Jack, followed in by Rock Classic, Sound Journey, Hollow Lee, and it just keeps on rolling on. They're off. Black Caviar, probably one of the best getaways we've seen of her. Doubtful Jack beat her out, but she's right up there with Dan Zylem and Midas Touch. She settles down fourth, about a length off the lead, which is dawdling at the early part of the race. And as they settle down, Dan Zylem now goes clear by about a length to Midas Touch. Doubtful Jack is third and a length and a half away, then Black Caviar. She's four lengths away from the leader. Then Precedence and Elo playing God out wide, pulling his way around them. And then Southern Speed and Efficient back last. So Dan Zalem had the lead now, going to the side of the course, a length and a half Midas touch. In on the rails in third placing, Doubtful Jack. And fourth on the outside is Black Caviar idling along about three lengths away from the leader. Then Playing God, Precedence, Elo, Southern Speed and Efficient is last of all, eight lengths from the front runner. At the 600, Dan Zylem the leader. Midas touches second, a length and a half away. Doubtful Jack. Nolan hasn't gone yet on the Great Mare. Black Caviar, she's creeping, creeping into it. Tracked up by playing God Elo, Precedent, Southern Speed and Efficient. Now they're on the swing. Black Caviar within a length of the leader, which is now Midas Touch who claimed Dan Zylem into the straight. Now Black Caviar, the awesome racehorse, races to the front. She's kicked away now. She's home. She's three lengths clear. Playing God is running on. Southern Speed is making ground, but the pride of Australia is the greatest show on earth. Black Caviar won it by three lengths to Southern Speed, playing God. 
and then either Reload Doubtful Jack or Midas touch across the track. Dan Zylem in behind them and then precedence and efficient last through. Oh, they're off and racing. Black Caviar brilliantly out of the barrier stalls and Lone Rock jump well and so did Hayliss and the three-year-old Fox Wedge was away quickly. Buffering being ridden along to try and take a position near the speed as well as they settle down. And it's Black Caviar who has a slender lead with Haylist on her outside. Haylist now going to the lead ahead of Black Caviar and Buffering in the blue colours on the far side, the leading trio. And they were clear then from Fox Wedge, Temple of Boom, feeling ready. Lone Rock, Secret Flyer and Metallurgical to the 400. And Haylist closest to the stands, the leader with Black Caviar. Buffering's under the whip and three lengths to Fox Wedge. Down on the final three and Hayless clinging on narrowly but now here comes the great mare and Black Caviar raced up and she's gone past Hayless. Schofield had to pull the whip. She's having a bit of a race but Black Caviar is a length and a half in front and the wonder from down under wins again. Black Caviar 19 straight from Hayless. Photo third Fox Wedge and Buffering. Lone Rock Temple of Boom. Feeling ready. Metallurgical and secret flyer. Ready. They're off. And the most anticipated race this century is underway. And Black Caviar is going to lead early from Spursific and Just Sybil is up there from Tabulated. Being followed along the rails by Shekinah. Further back came Lone Rock. Ahead of that run of Power Princess. Second last is Sistine Angel. All fried up is last. Nolan Keen to come off the pace. He allows the other two to go clear at the 650 metre mark. It's Just Sybil down on the inside, leading from Spursific the outside. Black Caviar, she sits two lengths away, third from Shekinah. Then came Power Princess from Tabulated Sistine Angel. Then came Lone Rock from Valentine Miss, and last is all fried up. They're on the home turn. The anticipation is starting to build. Black Caviar goes up and hits the lead. On the outside, Power Princess is trying to match her at the 250. Nolan's got a stranglehold on Black Caviar. She looks at the 30,000 strong crowd and says, geez, I'm good. No, I'm not good. I'm the best you've ever seen in the world. Black Caviar, she's better than a perfect 10. She comes on. She's 20 out of 20. Black Caviar, full lengths. Great go for second. Sistine Angel got it for mine. Photo third between Power Princess and Lone Rock. Too close to call. Then all fried up, followed home by Shekinah. Then just Sybil from Valentine Miss. And a big gap, Spursific. And a bigger gap, Tabulated. Coming in at the tail end of the field. Is this really happening? This is just unbelievable. It is surreal. Great to get that, that behind us, you know. And uh, she had a nice gallop and uh, happy days. In a wonderful mood all day. They came to see this, and once again, she doesn't let you down. No, she's uh, well, she hasn't done it yet. Uh, no, she's, 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 she's in great shape, and uh, you know, it's just fabulous to see the people here enjoy today. How do you feel during the run? How did you I set to go racing? And Catapult had missed the start by a couple of lengths, and Black Caviar was out well. Goes up to eyeball the early leader, outlandish lad, and we hold the ace, and the uh, great mare's going to lead. Streetcar Magic's outside of her, being followed by Go the Knuckle. Catapulted getting along the inside. We're going to rock was wider. There's no pace on at all. Uh, further back came, stands out towards the tail end of the field as they race on towards the 600. We hold the ace, the 300 to one outsider. Black Caviar has the neck. Now the body in front. She goes clear. Then Streetcar Magic from Outlandish Lad. Further back came, Go the Knuckle. Catapulted's along the inside and Sterling Grove is wider as they make the home turn. Then came out wider on the track. We're going to rock at the 350. It's Black Caviar leading about a half length in front of Streetcar Magic. Nolan sits quietly and down the outside. We're going to rock's coming home. Will Black Caviar two in front. We're going to rock's up to second. Sterling Grove goes to third. He hasn't moved on Black Caviar. Black Caviar, the equine superstar of the world. And that's 21 today. He's just rearing. A couple of them very edgy. Set. They're racing in the Golden Jubilee.
And Black Caviar's got away to a good start. Society Rock began badly. Soul is going to be the early leader. Out in the centre, Black Caviar travelling on the near side, getting a lead from Bogart. Out in the centre, Jimmy Styles, followed by Escalab. And further back then is Restia Dajon. Moonlight Cloud takes up a position in the middle of the field from the checker. Pastoral player is further back in the field. They're followed then by Krypton Factor. Red Rock is out the back and company with Jenky. Then Sirius Prospect, who's uh, at the tail of the field as they race up now towards halfway and sold the leader from Bogart and now Black Caviar ambling up on the near side in third. They're a length to Escalab followed by Krypton Factor and Jimmy Stars and Restia Dajon and further back is Jenky but as they come up now onto the course proper two furlongs left to go. Soul is the leader. Now Nolan starts to shake the reins at Black Caviar. She starts to move up on the near side. She draws level now with a furlong left to go. Now he says go on the mare. She gets about a half length in front of Soul. Restia Dajon, Moonlight Cloud coming home fast, but it's Black Caviar in front with 100 yards left to go. Here's Restia Dajon and Moonlight Cloud. He eases up near the line. Here's Moonlight Cloud. It's tight. Black Caviar and Moonlight Cloud in a photo. In third, then Restia Dajon followed by Soul. Further back is Krypton Factor and then Sirius uh, Prospect back in the field from Society Rock. Bogart the last to finish. He has eased near the line and this is tight. Black Caviar flashing home down the outside moonlight. Racing. Black Caviar jumps well down in gate two alongside of Golden Archer and also Moment of Change. And Sham Express had begun pretty well. Go the knuckle dropped in. Satin Shoes are showing speed out wide on the course. And so too Scent Express. And First Command drops in for the trail. They stretch across the track after covering about 300 metres. Black Caviar in control down near the inside. She's in front of Sham Express in the pink colours. Moment of Change and Golden Archer on the inside of the Great Mare. Satin Shoes is out wide on the course. She's being sold along at this point, followed by Go the Knuckle, Scent Express, First Command. Black Caviar completely in control. It's the Black Caviar of old, all right. Coming to the 200 metres, two to three lengths in front. Luke Nolan hasn't moved on her. It's awesome. She's clear then from Moment of Change and Golden Archer, but she's back and the legend lives on. Black Caviar by two and a half Moment of Change. Golden Archer's run third. Moods has trifecta to the course. Then Satin Shoes and Go the Knuckle, Sham Express, Set Express and First They're off. Black Caviar jumps evenly with them. Lucky Grey away very fast. And also Karuta Queen going for the lead. And Black Caviar idled up on the outside to settle third. Then Spirit of Boom, a length and a half away then came Linton, who's on the inside of Faulkner and Good Bar Bar La. So Karuta Queen leads at the first turn. A length and a half in front, Black Caviar strode up into second placing from Spirit of Boom, deeper out third, and then Lucky Grey fourth. They're followed then by Linton, a Good Bar Bar and Faulkner, who's in the middle. Up the side they race, Karuta Queen only narrowly now from Black Caviar, Spirit of Boom staying on, Lucky Grey still handy enough for the inside and they're followed then by Faulkner, Good Bar Bar and Linton last on the inside, Nolan hasn't asked yet and Karuta Queen coming to the turn about a neck in front, he's idling on the outside on Black Caviar and now he gives her a bit of rain and Black Caviar strides for the lead ahead of Karuta Queen, she's broken the field up and before they knew it she was three lengths in front, Black Caviar now now from Karuta Queen and Lucky Grey, but this is brutal power wrapped in an elegant machine. And Black Caviar strides away to win it by four lengths. Karuta Queen getting home, Faulkner will grab third ahead of Linton and Lucky Grey, and behind them, Spirit of Boom and Good Barber. And the Queen joins the King 14 Group Ones win number 24. They're just about ready. Stand by, they're off and racing. And Bell Sprinter came out last of all. Black Caviar began well. Rain Affair was the best into stride. How much do you love me going up on the outside? Nolan's bringing Black Caviar along the inside to settle down in third spot. Followed by Decision Time. Halish was out a little bit wider. Atomic Force just up in front of it. Followed by Title and Sea Siren. Bell Sprinter saving ground. Now he's railing up onto the back of Black Caviar. Followed further back by Epaulette. And on the lookout last of all. Nolan trying to get away from the inside to avoid being boxed up here. And the leader 
Peter Rain Affair led from Haylist on the outside, Black Caviar in the centre, and How Much Do You Love Me on the inside of them, followed by Bell Sprinter. He's worked up to midfield, followed by Decision Time, and then Title Atomic Force, followed by Sea Siren Epaulette, and further back on the lookout, Rain Affair kicked away at the stop of the straight. Nolan asking the mare to come after him now, and in a heartbeat, she raced up and hit the lead. She's giving Sydney some of the black magic, and look at her go, Black Caviar. She raced away. She's going to set a new Group 1 record in Australia. She's truly in a league of her own. Black Caviar racing away from Epaulette. Black Caviar doesn't let us down. Beat Epaulette. Third home, Bill Sprinter. And then Rain Affair, Sea Siren, Des 